Hello everyone, my name is iTechMan. Welcome back to another tutorial. Today we're going to be uninstalling OneDrive. Now, if you can see here on my Windows 10 machine, you see this little cloud icon. You see it all the time. It's very annoying. OneDrive. Hardly anybody ever uses it. If you use it, great. For the rest of us that don't use it, it's just a waste of space of a program that takes up all of our resource, the sum of our resources. So I'm going to teach you today how to uninstall it. It's very simple. All you have to do is start the, your command prompt. So you can just do the uh, Windows key R and then type in CMD for command prompt. So just launch command prompt. And then you want to type in the following command. T, uh, task, kill, space, slash, F, space, slash, I, M, space, OneDrive, Dot exe. Now what that does basically is it stops the application process from continuing. So that way it's not no longer running in the background. So now we've killed the process. So now what we're going to do is we're going to uninstall it. Now if you're running a 32-bit system, I'm going to put the code that you're going to need. All the codes that you're going to need are going to be down in the description below. But I'm going to put up the code for both 32-bit processors and 64-bit processors. All you have to do is type in this following command. And I'm not going to say it out loud. I'm just going to type it in. All right, so once you have the command in your command prompt, you're going to go ahead and hit enter. And then you'll see here that it looks like nothing happened, but really what ended up happening is it just ran the uninstall command and it uninstalled OneDrive. So if you restart your computer, which I'm going to do right now, so I'm going to restart my computer and I'm going to show you real quickly that this has been completely uninstalled. So I'll be right back. So as you can see here, by going down in the corner, you will no longer see Microsoft OneDrive. And that's how you completely uninstall Microsoft OneDrive from your Windows 10 machine. So if you like that video, don't forget to comment, rate, subscribe, and share the video with your friends. And if you want more tech tip videos like this, I'm more than willing to start making them. There's already another one I was going to try to do in the next few weeks. But I want to get your guys' opinion if you guys want me to keep doing little quick videos like this that are little tech tips. So I'll see you in the next tutorial.